What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is 6.07 um, on Tuesday and uh, we're going to have a little look at the content today. Uh, yesterday's video was a bit late guys, uh, my apologies, nothing I could have done about it unfortunately. Um, YouTube just did not process the video, it went up way way late but when uh, in the meantime that YouTube has this new stories thing like stories on Instagram and stuff. Let me know if you saw the story and how the interaction with it was, because I don't know how they work and there's no back-end data for me. I just know that I got to make the story and publish it. So uh, let me know if you did see the story, what happened, basically. <laughs> how, how how was your experience with that? Let's have a look at today's content, though, guys. See if there's anything new. There's a Future Stars rush still there in the daily objectives. Uh, one thing that I didn't see yesterday that doesn't matter now is that the future stars rush token was the same as the token in milestones for silver stars the ea have now rectified that and it's not anymore um there is nothing new in milestones which means we have got upgrades nothing like all oh, icons it seems like as well something that's a bit interesting guys the leaks that have been coming thick and fast recently it seems like there's a bit of a mix up in them now um, the whole, uh, the whole leak side of things is not coming through efficiently anymore. And I actually think that the R9 isn't coming, not now anyway. Um, I guess EA are trying their best to rectify the leak issues. So we have got Luis Felipe. I'm going to skip past him just quickly. Um, is there anything else new? Mid icon player pick, not good value. Middle Prime Icon, very good value. We've got Future Stars Challenge 9. Now, this is going to require 75 rated squad, two res, one club minimum two, same league maximum four, leagues maximum four. Um, overall rating 75, chemistry 75. That is so easy. No problem at all for that. And what does that give you as a reward? A gold players pack. Okay. Um, Future Stars Player Pick Reunion. One of four for the Future Stars Player Pick Reunion. Let's have a look at the uh, requirements here. 85 rated with a team of the week. You have to be kidding. That's so expensive, man. The ca oh, I don't even have any. Oh, damn. I'm mudded here. On my pay to win, I am in the mud. Have I got anything? Oh, I've got Casemiro. There we go. Kante as well. I think I'll have to use. I don't mind using a Kante. Um, I would prefer not to, but... We can throw in a couple informs or something in here as well. I've got loads of everything else. I just don't have the fodder otherwise, guys. Uh, let's pop him in and pop Munayin in there as well. 85 rated. That is intense because these weren't that good. Um, let's pop him in there. There you go. That is the 85 rating. Let's pop him up there. 33 chem. Him down there. 35 chem. Um, let's pop Kostic. Swap him around there. Let's pop him over there. That's my 40 chemistry. So this is now one of four. So I think that's why it's so expensive. One of four Future Stars reunion players. Let's see what we get. What are we getting? Yeah, I mean, like, the De Jong is nice. Because he's nice, right? Four star, three star is nice. Dribbling is real nice. Depending physical are decent. Passing is real nice. Shooting is okay. Pace is very good. Saka, Tyranny. I mean, I'll take Tyranny here because I've got De Jong already owned, but... Um, for an 85 rated squad, I don't think the options are that great, to be honest. Oh, it's repeatable three times. <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, my days. That's crazy. Let's have a look, guys, at uh, Luis Felipe. Oh, you know what? Four star weak foot, six foot two, medium high work rates. He's got the long throwing trait. Not that, that means much for a centre-back, but good pace split. Very nice passing, not the best vision. Very good reactions and good dribbling in general for a centre-back. Good physicals. Great aggression. I like that. Very well-rounded defending. One segment for him. What is this? Earn a moment's Luis Felipe celebrating his future foot 20 future stars version. So, what is he going to cost? An 85 rated with Syria... And 75 chem. Let's have a look. I have a feeling, guys. I have a sneaky feeling that the player, the reunion player pick is going to be downvoted. Wait, what on earth is that? Is that Luis Felipe? That is Luis Felipe. Yeah, it is downvoted massively because it is ex 
extortionate for what is on offer. Um, let me just grab uh, Twitter up here as well, just in case we've got any, any, any information. So Luis Felipe coming in about 110k as well. I think Luis Felipe is decent. Um, from what I've seen, yeah, the, the, this player pick is just bad. It's mostly informs and the odd player here or there that's decent. Now, Luis Felipe, three-star, four-star is really nice for a centre-back. Really nice. I do like the dribbling. I think you can either go with an anchor, which gets his pace to be good, and he's defending to being very good, and his physical is very good outside of stamina with good passing, you know, good short passing specifically. Or you can give a shadow, which gives that good acceleration, very good sprint speed, very good defending, but not the physical boost. I personally think an anchor on him is the one. And I do think that is a nice card. Who else is there from Lazio? I mean, you have got uh, Pedro, but... Oh, oh, actually, you've got some really good options, haven't you? Malinkovic Savage is real nice. Even this Chiro Mobile, only 48k. This Malinkovic Savage is under 100k. I don't understand that. Look how good that card is. Four star, five star. Bang an anchor on him. That is an outstanding center back or CDM, should I say. Even with a, a shadow. With his height, with that dribbling, with that passing, good shooting, great physicals, great defending, great dribbling, four star, five star. I don't understand how he can be. Oh, he was six. Oh, my days. He's gone up. He was 65k up until this card came out this Luis Felipe now people are like yep we can link him and it's a good link as well is, is there any defenders Aserbi he probably didn't go up in price because of Luis Felipe unless crazy people play this game he went from 45k to 49k that might be more because of the inform requirement and an 85 rated inform than anything else um you've got Pedro who was a cracking SPC back in the day Felipe Anderson an incredible objective as well and Chiro Immobile, who's pretty decent. Um, obviously, lots of other good options. And then from, obviously, the Syria, there is plenty of players, uh, specifically defensive players that you're able to link with him very easily. you got Delict, nice and cheap. I mean, that, Vla that Vlahovic is so cheap as well. Um, you got Giroud, you can uh, soft link with him. Di Natale now, 140k. Skriniar, 85k as a centre-back pairing is an absolutely fantastic option in there as well. Um, but overall, I d let, let me just grab on the Twitter again for a second. I just want to have a little look. Yep, so the first tweet I read is, WTF is this scam from the new reunion SBC? Give me back my money. And our guy got uh, 281 rated informs, inform mount and inform Lafon. And uh, it's just not very good. Now, before we go today, EA have released some new patch notes. I just want to talk to you about briefly... I know for those of you that aren't interested in uh, patch note content, this will be where you leave. And thank you for joining me today. But I know a lot of you guys are interested in my thoughts and opinions on the patch notes. Made the following changes. If a significantly large amount of packs was present in the My Packs tab in the foot store, only a small amount of packs would be displayed until the number was reduced. Uh, Address the following issues. I, I don't think they've written this out properly. I think basically they fixed that. Um, if a significantly large amount of packs was present in the My Tab foot store, not all of them were visible at once. In some rare situations, the mouse cursor could not be moved in the menus. So now, instead of only being able to see 30 packs along our uh, pack stash, we're going to be able to see everything, which is real cool. Uh, for gameplay, uh, made the following changes. Step overs and flicks cannot be performed for 500 milliseconds after initiating a player run. This change is intended to prevent the aforementioned skill moves from clashing with the ability to choose the direction of the requested player run. So that's a really positive change. Um, and then there's one change here. I'm not going to read career mode or Volta or pro clubs because they're, they're just not relevant to my ultimate team viewer base. But there's one thing here. Um, following the activation of player lock, with the input being performed at an angle, the first player switch would not occur and has to be performed again. So they've addressed that. In some rare situations when shooting after a skill move, the shot would not be as accurate as intended. So they've address, addressed that. If the right stick switching option was set to player rotation, a right stick player switch could not be done after activating player lock. So they fix fixed that. In some cases, sliding tackles could be incorrectly called as a foul, depending on which area of the defender's body made contact with the ball. First of all, I'm glad they fixed that because I've given away countless penalties making good tackles that were deemed as penalties because the ball hit like the midriff or something, right? Which is just ridiculous. Um, so I'm glad they fixed that. What I'm concerned about is here, in some rare situations, when shooting after a skill move, the shot would not be as accurate as intended. That is as ambiguous as it comes with the A. And what I know for a fact is that when people do a lateral heel to heel or a certain few uh, skill moves before shooting, the shots are incredibly accurate. 
Ball roll finesse shot, super accurate. Lateral heel to heel finesse shot, super accurate. I don't know if this is saying that sometimes the shots were like stupidly inaccurate and they've patched that, or if this is EA saying they were not as accurate as intended. That doesn't necessarily mean they were less accurate. They might have been too accurate, <laughs> so they've nerfed them. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with the new patch when that comes out. But that is the content for today, guys. That is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.